<laughs> man, I'm I'm telling you guys, without Jacob Zuma, Fikile Mbalula, and Julius Malema, man, we would not have the entertainment side of politics in South Africa. We would not have the entertainment side of politics, man. You know what I love about these three characters is that everything they say always comes back to bite them. Everything they do always comes back to bite them. Guys, I want you to listen to this video of Jacob Zuma when he was still the leader of the African National Congress. I want you to listen to what Jacob Zuma is saying about the people who have left the African National Congress. <laughs> man, this is nothing but gold. <laughs> People are exposing themselves that they are politically bankrupt. They are now sitting at home. <clears throat> they are now sitting at home, lonely. They left the ANC on their own. They were not chased out. They thought it is nice out there. It's cold out there. They now are beginning to throw stones in the ANC. And these comrades were part of the leadership. Some of them were Secretary General. Some of them. You can only say, you can only say if the ANC is weak, they weakened it when they were the leadership of the ANC. Why now they have wisdom and everything when they are sitting out there? When they were here, we did not see that wisdom. Others are pastors. They must go and preach in the church and leave politics. If a pastor has the politics. We, we, we are not going to keep kite forever. Because if we are out of the ANC, for whatever reasons, keep quiet. In fact, the unwritten rule is that when you are out, don't criticize those who come after you. Because those who come after you should not criticize who you were in front is a simple ABCD kind of politics. Oh. And these people who are leaders don't understand it. Pepe. Alliance is dead. Yes, yes. <laughs> they must sit and keep quiet. <laughs> People are exposing. <laughs> it sounds like Jacob Zuma is talking about someone. <laughs> I mean, who is that person that Jacob Zuma is talking about? Who is that person that Jacob Zuma is talking about? Today, we have someone in South Africa who was the leader of the African National Congress. That person today, he's talking nonsense about the current leadership of the African National Congress. And when this person was the leader of the ANC, he told people that, man, if you are out of the African National Congress for whatever reason, you need to keep quiet. You need to keep quiet. So what is stopping you, Ngamalala, from listening to your own advices? What is stopping Jacob Zuma from listening to his own advices? <laughs> man, this is why I love South African politics, man. There is nothing better than South African politics. Nothing better than South African politics. <laughs> themselves that they are politically bankrupt. Mm. They are now sitting at home. <clears throat> they are now sitting at home, lonely. They left the ANC on their own. They were not chased out. Yes. They thought it is nice out there. Yes. It's cold out there. And this is the reason why today some of those people I mean, have started Stockfells as Umkonto Wesizwe talking bad about the current leadership of the African National Congress. This is the reason why. This is the reason why, man, these people, man, are politically corrupt, are politically bankrupt. These are the words of the greatest politician we've had in South Africa. These are the words of the greatest politician we've had in South Africa. People are exposing themselves. No one actually chased these people out of the ANC. 
No one chased these people out of the ANC. They thought it is nice outside the ANC. It is actually cold outside the of, of the outside of the ANC. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. They now are beginning to throw stones in the NC. Ow. Ow. I mean, like this video, man, it's an irony, man. It's almost as if Jacob Zuma can predict his future, man. It's almost as if he can predict his future. The only thing that Jacob Zuma did not predict is that he was going to be the same person he was talking about. I don't think Jacob Zuma actually thought that one day he was going to be that same person that he's talking about. Today, Jacob Zuma is the same person that he's talking about. It is fair. Is it fair to say that Jacob Zuma is politically, cor is politically bankrupt? It is, fair to, is it fair to say that Jacob Zuma is politically bankrupt? Because these are his own words. These are his own words that the people who are attacking the ANC from the outside, when no one actually chased them out of the party, these people are politically bankrupt. Is it fair to say that Jacob Zuma is politically bankrupt? <laughs> because right now he is describing himself. He is describing himself. I mean, like, this is nothing but pure gold. This is pure gold. And most of you guys, you are not appreciating these people. And this is why I have a problem with a lot of my subscribers is that you guys are not appreciating these people who are giving us comedy in, in South African politics. You know things are bad in South Africa. I mean, we always talk about how bad things are in South Africa. But we have these characters in South Africa. We have these characters, the likes of Jacob Zoom. These people are providing us with entertainment day in, day out. And you people are not being appreciative. You are not being appreciative. And this is the reason why I have a problem with a lot of you guys. <laughs> and these comrades were part of the leadership. Yes. So yes. Yes. These comrades, men, who have political parties right now that are going against the ANC were part of the leadership of the African National Congress. This, like, I want Jacob Zuma to tell these people, men, and I want the people to understand that. <laughs> Some of them were Secretary General. Yes. Some of them. And today, man, we know some of them were presidents of the African National Congress. Man, these people were the leaders of the ANC. You can only say, you can only say if the ANC is weak, they weakened it when they were the leadership of the ANC. Ah. Man. <laughs> Why now they have wisdom and everything when they're sitting out there? I mean, like, why are these political pol pol politicians, man, coming up with all of these solutions, man? You know some of them, they are talking about the fact that South Africa is run by the Roman Dutch laws, man, and we need to change these Roman Dutch laws. Why didn't these people, man, say anything when they were the president of the African National Congress, man, when they were the leaders of the African National Congress? Now they have all the wisdom in the world now that they are out of the African National Congress. I concur with you, Ngamalala. I concur with you, man. All of these people, man, who are leaving the African National Congress, when they are out of the ANC, they need to keep their mouth shut. All of these ideas, man, they could have been used when these people were still the leaders of the African National Congress. These people were inside the party, but they did not implement any of these things they are talking about today. They did not implement them. And this is why we appreciate you so much in Ramadan. <laughs> When they were here, we did not see that wisdom. Yes. Yes. Others yes. are pastors. They must go and preach in the church I mean, and leave politics. Fact. If a pastor has the politics. Fact. We, we, we are not going to keep kite forever. Mm. Because if we are out of the ANC, for whatever reasons, keep quiet. Ah, oh, man. If you are out of the ANC, for whatever reason, keep quiet. If you are out of the ANC for whatever reason, keep quiet. There is no need for you to start a political party that is called Umkondo Wesizu. There is no need for you to, to do any of that. If you are out of the ANC for whatever reason, man, you need to learn to keep quiet.
You need to learn to keep quiet, man. And these people did not listen to Ngamalala. These people did not listen to Ngamalala, man. Today, these people, they are running against the African National Congress. Today, these people, they are all over social media. They are all over the news channels because they cannot keep quiet about the African National Congress. No one chased them out of the ANC. No one chased them out of the NC. Now they have their own political parties. They are calling it Umkondowesis. No one chased them out of the NC. No one. Man. In fact, the unwritten rule is that when you are out, don't criticize those who come after you. Exactly, man. It can be. I mean, like, guys, you need to understand that it can be that when you were the leader of the Afghan National Congress, and now you are no longer the leader of the Afghan National Congress. You cannot talk bad about the current leadership of the ANC. You cannot talk bad about the current leadership of the Afghan National Congress. This is what Ngamalala is saying. This is what Ngamalala is saying. So we don't understand why the poster boys of Umkonto Wasit are talking bad about the leadership of the ANC. We don't understand. No one understands why. Because this is an unwritten rule. This is an unwritten rule. Do not talk bad about the current leadership of the ANC because you were the leader of the ANC and no one said anything about you. <laughs> because those who come after you should not criticize who you were in front. It's a simple ABCD kind of politics. I mean, like, it's so simple. We don't know why people do not understand this, man. We don't know why people don't understand this, man. <laughs> you know guys listening to jacob zuba man saying all of these things man it feels like rain is pouring down it feels like rain is pouring down because he's doing all of these things that he's talking about all of these things that he's talking about jacob zuma is the same person that he was condemning during that day today jacob zuma is the same person that he was condemning during that day <laughs> And these people who are leaders don't understand it. Umdunegis Angel Pepe. Alliance is dead. Yes, yes. They must sit and keep quiet. Exactly, man. Exactly. They must sit down and keep quiet. They must sit down and keep quiet, man. They must sit down and keep quiet. And this is why, guys, I have a lot of problem with you. Because you guys are not being appreciative. You are not being appreciative of these people, man. You are not being appreciative of the efforts of these people every day. Being out and about, man. Providing comedy for South Africans. Each and every day, man. During these hard times. During these hard times, man. These people are providing us with comedy. And you people are not being appreciative. You are not being appreciative, man. Jacob Zuma told you it's a simple A, B, C, D kind of politics. It's a simple A, B, C, D kind of politics. These people who keep talking nonsense about, 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 about the current leadership of the African National Congress, these people are politically bankrupt. They are politically bankrupt. Now that they are out of the African National Congress, they have all of these solutions. They have all of this wisdom. And this wisdom was never seen when they were the leaders of the African National Congress. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I only did this video, guys, so that I can remind you that, man, you, we need to be appreciative of the likes of Jacob Zuma, man. We need to be appreciative of the likes of Jacob Zuma, Julius Malema, Fikile Mbalula, man. We need to be appreciative of these people, man, because these people are working hard. These people are working hard. Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>